Hi, my name is Luke Gross. I'm the owner of Own a Home Solutions LLC. And uh, what we do at Own a Home Solutions LLC is we educate both buyers and sellers on uh, great ways to own property um, in conventional ways, but, but more so in more creative ways through the means of holding property, whether it's, you know, through lease options or seller financing or just other creative ways to involve yourself in real estate transactions. And one of the frequently asked questions that I get from investors is, you know, how much money could they reasonably charge a lease option buyer in a down payment? Well, one of the components of a lease option is the down payment. And it differs from just a regular lease agreement because a regular lease agreement, the best you, you're probably going to be able to do with a lease agreement is you're going to be able to collect first month's rent last month's rent in a security deposit and all of those numbers equal each other typically so if the rent per month was a thousand dollars you'll collect the first month the last month in a security deposit which will equal one month's rent of a thousand dollars the maximum you're going to collect in this regard is three thousand dollars and that security deposit assuming there's no damages on the property you have to return that to your tenant at the end of the lease agreement well with a lease option you can almost always charge more for the down payment because as an investor you're taking more risk and the intention of lease option is that your your tenant buyer is entering into that agreement with the intention of buying the property from you at a later date that's why we call it a lease option basically you take a lease and you take a uh, purchase contract and you marry those two things together to get a lease option or rent to own contract so you can legitimately charge more because really what you're doing is you're taking your house off the market, you're relinquishing your right to sell to another buyer, you're relinquishing your right to rent the property to another tenant, and you're also giving up any appreciation in the property while you have somebody in an active legal lease option agreement with you. Yeah, if I own property and it's $100,000 and I'm in a three-year uh, lease option agreement with a buyer, that property could appreciate. And, and it likely will, especially in the market we're in, specifically here in Southwest Florida, property values are going up. So if I own a property for $100,000 and I'm in a lease option agreement, it's not unreasonable that in one to two years time, the property value is going to significantly increase. And I basically give up that appreciation. So in return, because of that, in exchange, I'm going to want a larger down payment and I have seen uh, in many cases you know uh, down payments as low as five thousand dollars and as high as ten to twelve thousand dollars depending on what type of it is and we we'll own a home solution for the purpose of lease optioning them and when you're dealing with a new home it's new construction we can charge more for that piece of property because it's really essentially more valuable it's a new um, and new is new right so you know we can charge more for that and what you really want to do is you want to charge more down payment to your lease option buyer because you want them to have skin in the game you want them to make a financial commitment to your property and it, it's one of the things that makes it different than a regular lease agreement or a regular tenant agreement because again, the purpose of entering into them some time to maybe cure some of the problems they have with their credit, improve their credit score so that they can exercise their option to purchase and buy you out. And in exchange for that, you're going to accept more down payment. You're going to require more down payment if they want to enter an agreement like this with you. So anything over $3,000 is typically enough to get your buyer to commit to an agreement with you. They're going to take care of the property better. You're not going to have to be a typical landlord. You're not going to have to deal with maintenance issues as much as you would if you were just renting the property. And then you're going to be dealing with a higher, a higher class type of a person who's going to be more committed to making a commitment to buying this property in the very least taking care of it so that you don't depreciate the property in terms of the value of it when you have to go back in and make all these ridiculous repairs because your tenants are taking care of your property. A person who gives you a larger down payment is more likely to take care of the property because they're not going to want to relinquish such a large sum of money. So that in a nutshell is 
you know, how you can charge more down payment. Typically, $5,000 is a good starting point, but charge more depending on the house, the type, the size, the area. You know, you can make a judgment call on that, but anything under the $5,000 mark for a lease option, I wouldn't recommend that. You can charge more, and you should. So you can go to my website. It's lukegross.com or L-U-K-E-G-R-O-S-S.com. You get some more information. You can download a free copy of my ebook. It's, you know, own, <coughs> excuse me, rent to own your new home, and it's a guide for prospective home buyers. Thanks.